Do we not already have enough things to worry about without cosmic threats being a possibility? I used to freak myself out as a kid thinking about asteroids smashing into the Earth and destroying friends and family and everyone I've ever cared about. My biggest concern, of course, being myself. Luckily, there are a lot of very smart people keeping their eyes on space in order to deflect these potential threats, but there's always a chance for bad luck. I'm your host James, and these are the top 10 scary asteroids that could destroy Earth in 2024. And we're starting things off at number 10 with Apophis. 99942 Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid that first grabbed attention in 2004 because of its potential to collide with our home. This space rock, which is roughly 340 meters in diameter, swings by our planet periodically, you know, just to let us know that we're on a rock floating in the middle of a giant black void, surrounded by things that could exterminate us in seconds. The concern began when early observations suggested a small chance of a collision in 2029. Further observations ruled out a direct hit, but raised the possibility of a future impact in 2036. Now, luckily, more calculations have downgraded the risk considerably. The current consensus is that the chances of Apophis hitting Earth in 2036 or any time in the foreseeable future is extremely low. Still, scientists continue to monitor its trajectory, refining predictions and assessing the potential for an impact. Make sure, by the way, to stick around to the end of this video because I may or may not be doing a comment shout out. Yeah, we might be bringing those back. Next on the list, we have Bennu. Bennu, officially designated as 101955 Bennu, is another asteroid that has captured the interest of scientists and fear in the public because of its potential impact threat. Measuring about 500 meters in diameter, Bennu is part of the Apollo group of asteroids, which means its orbit brings it close to Earth. Discovered in 1999, Bennu became a target for NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, launched in 2016, with the primary goal of studying the asteroid and bringing a sample back to Earth. The concern about Bennu stems from its relatively high probability of impacting Earth in the near future, particularly around the year 2182. Current estimates suggest a 1 in 2,700 chance of a collision during that time frame, so the probability is thankfully very low, but the potential consequences of this thing smashing into the Earth would be huge because of how massive this space rock is. Understanding its characteristics is crucial for developing strategies to avoid any future threats. The OSIRIS-REx mission has given us some valuable data, and researchers continue to study Bennu's orbit. Number 8, 2009 FD, also known as 367943 Duende. This is a near-Earth asteroid that gained attention because of its close approach to our planet. It was discovered back in 2009. It's relatively small, with an estimated diameter of about 50 meters. It made a terrifyingly close approach on March 27th of 2009, though, hurling within 64,000 kilometers, or 40,000 miles, of our planet. This event was particularly significant because it brought 2009 FD closer to Earth than the average distance to the moon. That is pretty close call. At our number seven spot, we have 2007 FT3. NASA had warned about a potentially hazardous asteroid known as 2007 FT3, which was initially labeled as a lost asteroid as it slipped out of NASA's surveillance after its discovery in 2007. There's some concern about this one. This celestial body, which was once lost, is now back on the radar and poses a threat to Earth with an estimated collision chance of 1 in 11.5 million in October of 2024. Discovered more than a decade ago, 2007 FT3 has the potential to unleash an energy equivalent to a staggering 2.6 billion tons of TNT upon impact. The predicted date for a potential collision is most likely October 5th of 2024. Now, a 1 in 11.5 million chance, that is extremely low, but it would really suck if this thing hit. NASA has offered reassurance though, saying there would be a minimal probability of global harm, not ruling it out entirely though. Number six, 2023 TL4. So this celestial troublemaker barged into our cosmic awareness not too long ago, and it's not exactly sending warm, fuzzy feelings our way. 
pinpointed during observations spanning from October 8th to the 19th in 2023, this space rock carries a razor thin 0.00055% chance, roughly one in 181,000 odds of smashing into our beloved Earth. But before you start, building a bunker in your backyard, because I know even with that low probability, at least one of you is going to. Just relax a bit, because we're not talking about an imminent threat here. The potential cosmic collision may not actually happen until sometime between 2119 and 2121. So that gives us a pretty decent heads up, but uh, let's just say the cosmic dice roll in favor of chaos. The impact could unleash an energy equivalent to a mind-blowing 7.5 billion tons of TNT. To put it bluntly, we'd be screwed. So scientists are keeping a watchful eye on this thing. At our number five spot, we have 1950DA. This one is an absolute monster, a true cosmic threat. It was discovered way back on the 23rd of February in 1950 by Carl A. Wirtanen, and given the catchy name 29075 or 1950 DA. Researchers have been keeping a close eye on the cosmic beast ever since, sort of. NASA alarmingly lost sight of it for a while. There's a potential for some real destruction in this thing's wake. The odds of 1950 DA smacking into Earth are, at this point, not as cozy as we'd probably like. It's been calculated that there is a slim but existent chance, about 1 in 4,000, that this asteroid could make an unwelcome entrance in the coming years. A rock roughly a kilometer wide hurtling towards us. If this thing were to hit, we're talking about an impact that would make the dinosaur's demise seem like a picnic. The energy unleashed would be in the ballpark of 44,800 megatons of TNT. The good news, we still have some time to perfect our asteroid deflection technology. This next one has a cool name, 1979 XB. I just imagine 1979 being a really cool year, and anything with X in the title just automatically has that edge factor. It also sounds uh, a bit like a car or something. The new 1979 XB. Anyway, this thing isn't actually cool if you value Earth's existence, that is. The asteroid known as 1979 XB has emerged as a cause for concern among experts because of its potential threat to the Earth. With the capability to release the energy equivalent to approximately 30 billion tons of TNT once it hits, this asteroid has got some real attention, even though it's been off the radar for around four decades. Observed for just a mere three or so days during its initial discovery, 1979 XB has proved elusive to further their searches, even when conducted with more focused efforts. It's categorized as a near-Earth object and specifically identified as a potentially hazardous asteroid within the Apollo group. Its current trajectory raises concerns about a possible collision with the Earth, and there's this lack of recent data because of the extended period since its last observation. It just makes things kind of murky and uncertain, which is scary when it comes to a destructive mound of rock hurtling through space. Number three, 2023 DW. A recently identified asteroid named 2023 DW is causing some concern as it may approach Earth closely in about 20 years with a roughly one one in 600 chance of a direct collision. According to NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, this space rock, measuring approximately 165 feet or 50 meters in diameter, was first detected on February 27th of 2023. It is anticipated to have a close encounter with Earth on February 14th of 2046, with a risk level that has been calculated at 1 in 625 as of March 8th of this year. So these odds are constantly being reassessed. There's an elevated risk compared to typical near-Earth asteroids, but NASA is emphasizing that this represents a very small chance of impact. And the risk is anticipated to decrease as more precise observations of this asteroid's trajectory uh, become available. So while a direct impact from this thing wouldn't be on the scale of the catastrophic asteroid that led to the extinction of the dinos, it could still cause substantial damage if it were to strike a densely populated area. NASA is actively working on planetary defense techniques, like the successful alteration of a small asteroid's trajectory through the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, mission 
for short. In at second place is 2022 AE1. Thought I'd throw a little levity into the list. At one point, this asteroid was seen as a huge threat, and now it's been knocked down to like a, a threat level of one. There was said to be a chance this one was going to hit in July of 2023, and as we all know, we're here, so that thankfully did not happen. The asteroid was 230 feet wide and was discovered on January 7th of 2022. It looked as if it was on a one-way path to Earth, and the most alarming part was that it was going to hit too soon to carry out a deflection mission. A statement by the European Space Agency said the following at the time. In January of this year, we became aware of an asteroid with the highest ranking on the Palermo scale that we've seen in more than a decade. Astronomer Marco Michelli stated that it was the riskiest object he'd ever observed in his career. So if this thing were to hit, it would have caused damage on the same scale as Hiroshima in World War II. So things were not looking good. The object disappeared from view for one week because of the bright glow around the full moon. Fortunately, when NASA got their eyes on it again, it looked like things had changed for the better. Updated calculations showed that it was going to fly right past Earth, and thankfully, it did. Finally, the winner of the asteroid that could blow us all up list goes to 2000 SG344. Uh, all right. So it wouldn't blow all of us up, but it would cause damage around the size of the Tunguska event. So don't worry, still plenty of destruction. This asteroid was first observed in 2000 and has the fourth highest cumulative Palermo rating. Based on observations, there's about a 1 in 360 chance that this thing could collide with the Earth in the next 100 or so years. Again, though, it's important to remember there's some very intelligent people keeping their eyes on these things, and the chances of an asteroid disaster on the same scale as the one that likely destroyed the dinosaurs is still highly unlikely. All right, let's do a comment shout out. This one was on my top 10 scary cursed commercials. You were warned not to watch list. You guys had some good ones on there, but I'm gonna be giving this one to Fafonia though. The scariest commercial I ever saw was Smokey the Bear. He would say, only you can prevent forest fires. And I was only like four or five years old. I would cry because I knew I couldn't do anything. So everything was going to burn because of me. I laugh at it now. Uh, yes. I was going to put uh, a Smokey the Bear on that video, actually. Maybe if we do a part two. Yeah, imagine being five years old and being told it's your responsibility to like put out forest fires. Yeah, not fun. All right. With all that said, folks, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you. Yes, you specifically in the next video.